contestants, move like the darling to follow these sports groups. Four and four for the Queens, the data that's in the field, Reina Mercedes and Isabella. Mr. Edwin TV. For outstanding travel training, located at Bacchera, Reina Mercedes and Isabella. Near the hardware and construction supplies, Gilad Solutions Cleaning, located at Barangay Talungan, Reina Mercedes and Isabella. Mr. Ricardo A. Isidro, RNI Strong Builders.
originality as candidate number seven. And our mystery personality is candidate number Congratulations to the winners. Thank you very much, candidate.
top 10 finalists shall advance to the next round of the competition. Announcing the top 10 for female category. In no particular order, you are in candidate number 18.
bullet number 16.
Number four from. How are you? I am feeling nervous right now. So this is your question. If you are given a chance to promote your municipality through a tagline, what would it be and why? If you are given a chance to promote your municipality through a tagline, what would it be and why? If I were given a chance to promote our municipality with a tagline, I would definitely choose the tagline um, The Hidden Giant of the North. Reina Mercedes, a small town as it is, but I know that we are so much more than that, that we have uh, uh, competent people and we have kind and loving people that if we come together to unite as one, we could create a positive municipality where next will not foster and I know that the Mercedesians have strength in unity and with this unity we can achieve anything because if we believe that we can achieve. Thank you. Hi candidate number eight. Hello. How are you? I'm really nervous. Okay. This is your question. If you could teach Filipino youth one thing, what would it be and why? Kung matuturuan mo ang kabataang Pilipino ng isang bagay, ano ito at bakit? Kung matuturuan mo po ang mga kabataan ng isang bagay, ayun ay ang pagrespeto. Pagrespeto po sa mga, sa mga opinion po ng bawat isa kasi po, hindi po naman natin pwede sabihan ng ibang tao ng, ng hindi po hindi ng sayo. Good evening. You look passionate tonight. This is your question. If you happen to meet and see the desire of President Uncle Marcos, what would you see or tell him? Can you translate it to the Kung sakaling maganda mo at makaupo ka sa tabi ng ating Pangulo, Bongbong Marcos, ano ang masasabi mo? Again, kung sakaling makita o makaupo ka sa tabi ng Pangulo Bongbong Marcos, ano ang masasabi mo sa kanya? Sasabihin ko po sa kanya ay mga problema ng bansa natin para mag para mabilis na masolusyonan at para mas maayos ang ating bansa. Good evening, candidate number 13. Okay, malinaw po ba? Malinaw? Okay. This is my question. Among the currently leading famous local personalities, who do you admire the most? Why? Okay. Among the currently leading famous local personalities, who do you admire the most and why? Tagalogin ba? Okay. Sa mga kasalukuyang nabubuhay na singkat na lokal na personalidad, sino ang higit mong hinahangahan at bakit? Sa mga kasalukuyang nabubuhay na singkat na personalidad, sino ang higit mong hinahangahan at bakit? Hindi hinahangahan. Higit na hinahangahan. Higit na hinahangahan. O lubos na hinahangahan. Totoo niya po sa sarili niya and gusto ko po yung pagiging uh, kung paano po 
question. Do you think that social media has helped our society in terms of empowering young individuals? Do you think that social media has helped our society in terms of empowering young individuals? Thank you for the question. I do believe that social media helps younger generation today because of our education. Our education today is online system and without social media, we cannot do our How are you feeling tonight? I feel pressured and honored for the same reason because I'm, I'm going to represent our barangay and I'm the face of our barangay. Okay, thank you. So, this is your question. If you were to run for president of the Philippines in the future, what will be your priority program or project and why? At Tagalog, kung ikaw ay tatakbo bilang Pangulo ng Pilipinas sa hinaharap, ano ang magiging prioridad na programa o preyo, proyekto at ba? If I were to run in the position of a president, I'd like to promote the value of humanity. Because I believe that in these times of global and national crisis, we should, must be compassionate about each other and we must set aside our selfish desires and our selfish desires and self-interest. That, and um, in lieu with that, in promoting humanity, I believe that it will ripple into many positive effects. We can help, especially the deprived and marginalized ones in our society. Thank you. Hi, Kanina Tomberini. How are you tonight? Sir? How are you tonight? I'm fine, sir. Do you have a profile? Yes, sir. Sorry, taking the picture. But let me, this is my question. What is the most important thing you learned during the pandemic? I repeat, what is the most important thing you learned during the pandemic? Ang natutunan ko po sa dumating na pandemic ngayon ay ang huwag matakot na harapin ang dumating na virus sa atin. Ang kailangan lang po natin ay mag- Mag-stay sa bahay dahil sa pandemic ngayon. Yun lang. Hello, candidate number 19. Hello. So, are you ready? Okay. So, here is your question. Tell us about the challenge the ex that you experienced in life and how did you overcome it? In Tagalog, Sabihin mo sa amin ang tungkol sa isang hamon na iyong naranasan sa buhay at paano mo ito napagtagumpayan. Ang challenge na ito ay sumali sa kanyang na ito. And this is, I overcome.
in Tagalog? Bakit ka namin pipiliin bilang susunod na Mr. Reina Mercedes 2022? Thank you for that question. Unang una, kung ako yung pipi, dahil ako yung pinapili, dahil gagamitin ko ang title ko bilang isang modelo dito sa ating Elizabeth. At hindi ito, hindi ito gagamitin ko upang maging isang mayabang dahil sa title na ating pinapili. At hindi ito gagamitin ko para makapag-discriminate ng mga kabataang mahina ang self-consulent sa sarili. Bagkus, ito ay gagamitin ko upang ibus ang kanilang paniniwala na kaya nilang tumayo sa sarili ng paya at ipagmalaki ang kanilang kakayahan bilang isang kabataan na nanonood na ang mga Good evening, candidate number four. Good evening. So this is your question. What do you think is the biggest Philippines' biggest problem and how can we solve it? Ano sa tingin mo ang pinakamalaking problema ng Pilipinas at paano natin ito malulutas? Thank you. Uh, pinakamalaking problema ko na sa Pilipinas ay ang COVID pandemic at ang utang sa Pansang Pilipinas. Kailangan po natin pag-safety malagi at sana uh, wag makalat-kalat ilang uh, Good evening, candidate number five. This is your question. In the current situation and prevailing issues of our environment, how can you be of help in solving environmental issues? In the current situation and prevailing issues of our environment, how can you be of help in solving environmental issues? So, may mga paraan po para sa pagkulas ng ganyang mga problema. So, ang una ay mag-encourage um, mag sa'yo ng mga kabataan na tumulong sa mga environmental issues sa pagkulas, sa pagsimple pag uh, pagkaling ng mga trees, para sa gawin ng mga basurahan. At kailangan natin yung encourage yung mga kabataan, lalo na sa social media, maging voice tayo upang magkaroon tayo ng magandang uh, environment. Good evening. How do you feel tonight? Um, a little bit nervous. So, this is your question. Um, what is the relevance of beauty pageants in the midst of the pandemic? What is the relevance of beauty pageants in the midst of the pandemic? Thank you, ma'am. The relevance of pageant amidst this pandemic is pageant shows you need to showcase your talent, your beauty, your how you carry yourself into the front of other people, like your audience and judges. And this pageant acts as your standing stone to face all of the challenges to become a successful person in this world. Thank you. Good evening, candidate number nine. This is your question. What is the most significant change you've seen in the world during the pandemic? I repeat, what is the most significant change you've seen in the world during the pandemic? One of the most significant change that we have experienced in the world since the pandemic started would be the daily lives of the people which shifted down, downward. First, we had schools stopped, transportation stopped, and we had work shifted from offices to home. Now, because of this, there are problems we are, we are currently facing in workplaces, such as in the medical field. Today, Professional 
workplaces that skilled, skilled graduates due to the due to the students that we have. Good evening, candidate number 11. Good evening, sir. How do you feel? I'm a little bit nervous, sir. Okay. Are you ready for the question? Yes, sir. Okay, this is your question. If you win this competition and you are proclaimed Mr. Ring number 7 is 2022, what are your responsibilities and how will you carry them out? Kung mananalo ka sa kompetisyon ito, at ikaw ay iproklama bilang Mr. Ray No. Mercedes 2022, ano ang iyong mga responsibilidad at paano mo ito isasagawa? Thank you. For me, my greatest responsibility if I win this, this title as Mr. Ray No. Mercedes 2022 is first is I need to be a great example and good example teaching ever. I need to be a great role model, especially for teenagers, because the generation of us right now is not just like the 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 generation these days is not as good as before. Therefore, I want to make a change. Thank you. Hi, Hello. 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 This is my question. If God granted you one wish, what would you wish for and why? I will wish for the healthy lifestyle. I like that lifestyle of every people out there. Because I do believe even if I don't wish for the crown, I don't uh, want to have the crown, the own crown that I will wear is the healthy lifestyle of all people out there. Thank you. We all know that climate change was caused by uh, human activities that threatening our lives and the tra threatening the future of our planet. As a Mr. Rainer Mercedes, I will be an agent of change by addressing climate change. We have to act right now. We, if we act right now, we can do all for God's plan for us. By uniting together, we can make a difference. That's all. I want to raise awareness and educate everybody 
that malnutrition should not be ignored. And also, I want to build a feeding program. And in this feeding program, they will eat nutritious and healthy food so that we can see them growing healthy physically and mentally with the host. Thank you very much. How do you feel? Are you ready for the question? Yes. Okay, this is your question. Do you think being handsome will get you far in this life? In Tagalog, sa tingin mo ba ang pagiging guwapo ay masihan para maging matagumpay ka sa buhay? Uh, I think hindi po. Ang pagiging guwapo po, hindi lang po sa physical na kanyan po. Nandun, do, nandun po sa kanooban yan. Kung may tawag ka sa Diyos, lagi kang guwapo. And I thank you. Feeling and losing your voice was so hard to make you feel at home. For my fellow relatives, friends, supporters, and those I miss out, my heartfelt thanks for your support and for allowing me to grow and for believing in my dreams and aspirations. Personal thanks to my fellow Kabarangayan from Malalatang Grande, especially to our own Barangay Jason for being a supportive leader. Also to my fairy godmothers in the backstage during the competition in 2018, Big Langin, Team Gamu, I am forever grateful with you, my nanay, you really gave me beautiful. And to my pasarela mentor, Teacher Joey Pasilan, from Miss Reina Marcellus until I joined Queen Isabella, I would like to say a big thank you for believing in me and showing me your continued support. Thank you also to Sir Alan Alvaro for being there along the way. And to our beloved Mayor Attorney Malumes Fisha Saluban, thank you for giving me the wonderful chance to represent our municipality. Once again, thank you for opening such an event, especially for Sanguni Ang Kabataan to showcase their beauty and purpose. Thank you for making Mercedes as one and happy again. And last but not the least, I would like to take this moment to thank God for all the blessings that He has given me and for the rest of us. To the next Miss Reina Mercedes, I wish you enjoy your year as a queen. As my time as Miss Reina Mercedes comes to an end, I am about to close this beautiful chapter in my life. It has truly been a memorable and surreal year filled with challenges growth, tears, and happiness. Reina Mercedes, it truly has been an honor. I am Julianne Carilbalti, your longest reigning Miss Reina Mercedes.
members give a certificate of appreciation to our dear colleagues. Second runner up. For the female category to be awarded to. To be awarded by Congressman Ed Christopher Lesko, attorney by Lou Dibir, speech of the wife. Vice Mayor Anthony Perez-Mancho, board member Ed Christian Vigo, board member Ed Nardo Cuchillo, and all SP members.
that very recent twins in our awarding tonight. Instead of giving one title only, we shall be awarding two titles for tonight, namely the Mr. Tourism 2022 and Mr. Red Mercedes 2022. Same is true with the female category.
Park in the body, na pagkatapos po ng ating announcement ay magkakaroon po tayo ng fireworks display. Okay, everybody is invited to watch our fireworks display. Oh,